I'm Ostas Velasquez Manov reporting from Mother Jones in Buffalo, New York. We all eat junk food occasionally, but imagine being paid to do it. That's what's happening in a laboratory in Buffalo where scientists are looking at how junk food like this affects you. Let's go take a look in the laboratory and see what the scientists are doing. Takes a lot of convincing to eat it all. I was having a hard time on the second uh, McMuffin. I keep just trucking. Behind me is Denise Miller. Today she's gonna do what's called a meal challenge. Ham, egg McMuffin, two hash browns, and a sausage cheese McMuffin. A 900 calorie meal. We purchase it off McDonald's spot and provide it to our fasting patients. And now they're just drawing blood. And then measure bloods before the meal and sequentially after the meal for a period of five hours. My usual breakfast is a half a bagel and a banana. Thank you very much for participating in it. We are grateful because without patients, there'd be no study. Dr. Paresh Dandona is running the experiment and he says his lab is leading the way in this type of research. This study could result in a revolutionary change in the treatment of type 1 diabetes. A small McDonald's meal leaves you with inflammation for the next five hours. Now, where does that inflammation come from? Scientists here are discovering that it comes from the microbes in our gut. And more recently we've shown that in fact you get increase in endotoxin levels during this challenge. The meal is fatty and carries endotoxin from the gut into the circulation. The junk food interacts with our own native microbes and it causes this inflammation that possibly also then causes type 2 diabetes, uh, cardiovascular disease, and it's even linked to an increased risk of dementia. Imagine if you could stop the inflammation before it starts, you could prevent all this from happening. So at the end of this study, we'll have a sequence of five hours which will allow us to see the entire panorama of inflammation. One of the things that I found very interesting about Dr. Paresh Dandona's work was that he would give junk food to people, see inflammation, but he could prevent the inflammation with just a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. If fresh orange juice was able to neutralize McDonald's effects, that maybe the population could be induced into buying orange juice rather than Coca-Cola to go with the Mac meal. The question is, how do we get those substances in the orange juice, probably some anti-inflammatory molecules, into everyone's diet? If you take the McDonald's meal, add fiber, in addition, you again take away inflammation and uh, render the whole thing much more healthy. 10 pounds in 12 weeks. That's, that's magical. When you see this kind of weight loss, you know, 10 pounds in 12 weeks yeah. is not a joke. When we first published the McDonald's data in 2004, my fellows used to joke, Dr. D, there are posses or horse riders with guns coming after you from McDonald's. 